it started with a headache and the headache was strange it was in the back of my head in my neck and in, in my shoulders i went up to bed earlier than the rest of my family and at first i just felt overwhelmingly tired it was like a wave of fatigue and right after that um, my tongue dropped it fell from the roof of my mouth my leg even slumped and um, like it was complete on the right side there was um, no control and I thought oh no you know I'm having a stroke a lot of times uh, when we get called for a stroke uh, you're going to be looking for people who have facial droop, uh, slurred speech. Sometimes they'll be completely flaccid on one side, they can't move anything on one side. So they immediately ask, we understand you think you're having a stroke, what are your symptoms? We now identify folks either in triage or in the field with a tool called FAST, facial droop, arm drift, speech. Uh, difficulty and then T is for time. FAST is an acronym that we use for determining signs and symptoms of a stroke. F is for facial droop or face asymmetry. So if half of your face is not working like it should or you have numbness or tingling in your face. A is for arm or legs. You would have, again, numbness or tingling in your arm. Half of your body would have the numbness or tingling. And then S is for speech, slurred speech, garbled speech. So if you're not speaking clearly, if you are talking like you have something in your mouth, the words aren't coming out clear. And then T is for time, meaning that you should call 9 if you have any of those symptoms and get into the emergency room fast. There's a certain period of time where a person presents that uh, we have an opportunity to intervene and so we have a multidisciplinary approach to taking care of stroke starting at the level of the paramedic who calls ahead and warns us and we sort of are able to gear up and get lab and CT all involved and we want to get them to the CAT scan as quickly as possible so they either go from triage directly to CAT scan if they walk in and if an ambulance brings a patient in the ambulance personnel identify potential stroke patients and we take them directly to CAT scan. They really want to look at the head as quick as possible and see if there's a bleed or if there's a clot they can get uh, going on the TPA, which is the most common uh, drug that they use for a blood clot, which is only uh, able to be given within a certain amount of hours. She was well within the window of time where she was a candidate for the administration of this, this medication, the thrombolytics. I met her at the ambulance bay walked with her and accompanied her and obtained some history while moving her over to the CAT scan table with the rest of the team. We all work very well hand in hand. We've partnered with uh, vascular stroke neurologists, stroke specialists in Grand Rapids at St. Mary's at the Hauenstein. So what we do is we try to gather the essential information they need. They can see the scan, the CAT scan of the patient, and we're able to get them on the phone quite quickly so then, while I was on the phone with the neurologist, I said we'd like to proceed with thrombolytics. We went through literally a checklist of indications and contraindications. And all the indications were there and contraindications were not there. So we could proceed. And of course, then we went over the risks and benefits for, um, with the patient and her husband and they elected to proceed with the administration of thrombolytics. In Lisa's case, a excellent assessment was conducted in Muskegon. They recognized very early on that Lisa would benefit from further evaluation here. Lisa was transferred in a timely fashion. We were able to diagnose, recognize the best management options for Lisa's care, and Lisa's making excellent progress. I was positive through the whole thing that I was gonna get through it, and when people have strokes, the brain is amazingly plastic and with um, rehab you can rewire the brain and magically get back all your faculties. More of those patients are having um, better outcomes. We've had a decrease in mortality rates, increase in discharge to home, and decrease in length of stay for the patients that are in the hospital. So those are some positive outcomes. Some other things that are very positive is our staff. Um, they're very excited about stroke care. And now that we've gotten uh, the ability to collaborate with these stroke specialists in real time, 
Uh, there's been a huge increase in the usage of TPA in patients who are candidates. So I think that the success of the program has been the ability to collaborate with those folks. Everyone recovers at different rates. The fact that I'm young, I think, helped. It was really good to get back and be engaged and have a purpose. I think that aided in my recovery to have those goals. It's almost miraculous. It's so nice to see a lady who's returned to uh, full function. Her speech is clear. Lisa walks well. She's no longer paretic. Her thought is completely clear as well. So she's had, I would say, nearly 100% recovery. I had a good experience with Mercy Health. I appreciated their intensity and focus. And I also liked the caring and compassion that not only I received, but my family received as well.